I go to Iraq the first time, no big deal. I go to Iraq the second time. Dude, you know, it's a much tougher deployment. It's guys are getting wounded. Guys, My guys are getting killed. War is a nightmare. War is awful. It is indifferent and devastating and evil. War is hell. But war is also an incredible teacher, a brutal teacher. And it teaches you lessons that you will not forget. In war, you are forced to see humanity at its absolute worst. And you are also blessed to see humanity. War teaches you about sorrow and loss and pain. And it teaches you about the preciousness and the fragility of human life. And in that fragility, war teaches you about death. But war also teaches you about brotherhood and honor and humility and leadership. When we talk about being successful, there's tons of things that you're gonna be terrible at, borderline awful, that you're not gonna be able to know how to do. And by all means, that is A-OK. -okay. There's nothing wrong with that. You have to be able to realize what your strengths are and what your weaknesses are, so that way you can focus on the strengths and attack those with such ferocity, they become exceptional. But your weaknesses, it's okay to have those, but you just need to find other people who are gonna be able to help you with those weaknesses. If you don't know how to do something, find somebody who does and let them do it for you in your business. You say you don't know how to do video editing or graphic design, you go out and find somebody who can create these videos and these graphics for your company to produce content, which makes your job easier, and they're doing something they're good at, and you're not doing anything that you're bad at. So it's an overall huge win for you, huge win for your company, just for being humble and understanding that you can't do every single thing all the time. So many people nowadays believe that they are owed so much from the game we call life. They believe that they are entitled to this, that, and the other, and that's simply not true. The real people that make it aren't saying that I deserve this or I deserve that. The real ones who make it and go far in life are the ones who step up to the plate and attack the challenge. They don't believe they deserve anything until they've actually gotten it. And then they know that they deserve it because they've achieved that goal. The chronic excuse maker. How do you stop making excuses? This is actually pretty simple. And I said it the other day, and you have to realize, you have to know, you have to accept that all your excuses are lies. Think about the things that you tell yourself, the lies you use to rationalize taking the easy road and leaving discipline behind. Think about them. You don't have time. You don't know the best way. Who cares? That's a lie. Or you're too old or you're too young. Of course you're too old or too young. Lie. And there's you're too busy. Sure you are. That's a lie. And you're too tired, or you're too sore, or you're just plain not feeling it. Lies. And the list goes and on, and it doesn't stop if you don't make it stop. So recognize. The people that are working for you are not robots. They're people. And you cannot give them orders and expect them to just execute like a robot would. And the worse your plan is thought out, the less response you're gonna get. And just like in business world, the less input I get from you as we create this plan, the less apt you are to execute it correctly. So when it comes time, when you have to go execute something, I want you to plan it. I'm not gonna plan it for you. I want you to plan it. Now I'm gonna come and check out your plan and we'll collaborate to make sure it's the best plan because maybe I have more experience than you or maybe I have some strategic vision that you don't have, but I want you to plan it. That way you own it. And if you own it, when you go to execute it, you're gonna put that much more effort into it. That's hard to quantify. That is real. If you come up with a plan, you're gonna put more effort and more pride in executing that plan than if I come up with a plan and I give it to you to, and tell you to execute it. That's just a reality. I don't care who you are, that's a reality. So that type of thing is absolutely true. And the other piece of this is this idea of, you know, just that we're gonna order everyone to do what to do and they're just gonna do it. It would be so easy because you just tell your guys what to do and they go do it. And guess what, being a business leader would be the easiest because I always have this conversation which is, you know, my guys wouldn't just do what I told them because I outranked them. And I kind of get that funny look, I don't, let me ask you this. I'm here because your employees aren't doing what you want them to do, right? What happens is 
With extreme ownership, with a dichotomy of leadership, we get these principles across people. And we did it in the, the most simple, straightforward, possible way that we could, which is we tell what the principle is, and then we show an example from the business world. And I'm saying we, because I wrote these books with a buddy of mine, Leif Babin, that I was in the SEAL teams with. And so that's what we did. And it's pretty straightforward, but you know, we have a consulting company too. So as we go around and talk to people, we start hearing questions. And then I have a podcast and people send me questions all the time. And these questions are really about how do I take these principles? Because they get the principles, but then they get faced with a problem and they don't understand how to actually apply the principle. So on my podcast, I was answering these questions all the time of, and I realized, okay, I need to actually put these principles in a field manual that people can pragmatically take the lessons, take the principles and apply them to what's happening in the world. And that's what I try to do in the, in the new field manual. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you haven't already, please go ahead and like the video. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you're new and let us know what you thought down in the comment section down below.